Disney's Moana should not be rated PG. Hello, Catholic Controversy, and I recently saw Disney's latest animated feature, Moana. It was great. Check out my review. But there's one thing that really, really irks me. It's rated PG for parental guidance suggested. I have not seen a more tame movie lacking edge in a long time. I've seen G-rated movies that would require more parental guidance than this. Now, of course, I could go all cheap and could reference a movie like Planet of the Apes that was rated G back in the 60s, but if it was released now, it would surely be rated PG-13. But I'm not going to be that cheap. No. I'm going to compare it to Disney, Pixar, and other kids' movies that are all rated G. So, what can make a movie PG? Well, there's always coarse language. There's absolutely none of that in Moana. Not even kid swears like stupid or crap. I mean, even G-rated Toy Story had what do you call Buzz and Idiot as well as other characters calling each other idiots and stupids. You know, things appropriate for a general audience. Well, Maybe it's Maui running around in a loincloth and showing off his tattoos. Surely all this non-sexual nudity with a secondary character that we only see from the waist up most of the time that has so many tattoos that we kind of forget he's not wearing a shirt is the cause for parental guidance. It's not like G-rated Tarzan had a far more sexy main character running around in a loincloth with half of them being full of body shots. It's not like G-rated Hercules had Meg flaunt her sex appeal blatantly on screen to try to seduce Hercules. It's not like G-rated Mulan had an entire scene dedicated to Mulan almost being exposed as a woman because she went skinny dipping and her male soldier counterparts joined her. It's not like G-rated The Little Mermaid had Ariel swimming around in a bikini top and the whole new leg scene having the camera positioned in such a way that we don't see that she's naked from the waist down, and for 10 seconds we see Ariel completely naked from the waist down on screen, just without any genitalia. No, all that is appropriate for general audiences. Uh, Maui makes a warm spot where Moana has her hand in the ocean. Yeah, I've seen that in TVY Second Rocket Power, TVY Seven SpongeBob, and so many other TVY7 cartoons that I can't think of off the top of my head. Okay, well, what about the grandma dying and the slight peril that Moana and Maui are put in? Surely this requires parental guidance as it could scare small children. I'll keep this short because I don't want to be here all day. Tarzan has multiple characters almost die, as well as characters die both on and off screen. Hercules has Meg crushed by a giant column and die on screen, with Hercules having to go to the underworld to save her. Beauty and the Beast has the Beast getting stabbed and Gaston falling from the tower to his death. The Hunchback of Notre Dame has scenes where the main characters are almost killed multiple times and the villain dying on screen. Pocahontas has characters get shot and killed, as well as almost being brutally executing John Smith. The Frog Princess has a villain that does all sorts of voodoo magic, and the imagery is rather frightening. The Brave Little Toaster franchise has multiple songs and scenes about appliances characters dying because they are obsolete, with Toaster being brutally crushed on screen as we watch his face in agony. All these movies are rated G. Oh, but these movies are traditional 2D animations. Maybe Moana is 3D CGI, and it's more real for the kids, and therefore requires parental guidance. Sure, it's not like the central conflict of Toy Story was escaping from a child that tortures toys for fun, and the main climax had Woody and Buzz almost getting blown up. Or that A Bug's Life, Flick, almost committed suicide, by almost had his head squashed by Hopper, and that Hopper was fed to birds and therefore killed in the dark of night. Or that P.T. Flea was torched on screen. Or that Toy Story 3, the entire movie is about escaping from a death camp. And at one point it looked like everyone was going to get incarcerated. All that is appropriate for general audiences. But Moana and Maui having to dodge lava rocks thrown at them by a lava monster with very little peril requires parental guidance. This movie should be raging.
parents aren't going to the theaters with their kids because this might be too much for them. They're going there because their kids can't go to the movie by themselves. When this comes out on Blu-ray and digital, parents aren't going to screen it beforehand. They're just going to say, here you go, enjoy. You know, in third grade, there was a boy that I thought was a fool because he thought that the ratings didn't matter. And if it was a Disney movie, it meant anyone could watch it. Now, I am the fool, because the ratings don't matter, and if it's a Disney movie, it means anyone can watch it. This has been Catholic Controversy, signing off, and may God bless you.